Hi, my name is Doug Hayden, and I'm an area sales manager for Bendix King. Uh, since we couldn't make Sun and Fun in AEA this year, we wanted to throw together a couple of uh, quick video clips that will outline the products uh, that we would have talked about while we are at the shows, and also some updates uh, to some existing products. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. I'm actually going to be talking about the Aero Cruise 230 Autopilot, which is a uh, great opportunity for you know, either if you're a dealer or an end user, to get a good upgrade, economical upgrade for your existing KFC Autopilot. Now we have the uh, AeroCruise suite, the product suite, is actually the KFC 230, which is our KFC 150 replacement initially, soon to be KFC 200, which is a full touchscreen autopilot. Uh, it is a three-axis autopilot also. It gives you a lot of really uh, the modern features you would like to see with today's autopilots. Then we have the AeroCruise 100, which we'll talk about in a future video clip. Uh, that's our low-cost autopilot for the lighter aircrafts, you know, um, uh, lower-performance aircraft. It's a great system, very economically priced. But we'll talk about that in a future clip. And then the X-Cruise 100, that's actually for experimental. So we tried to make that be as cost-effective as possible, of course. But again, a great autopilot. Now, that, those guys came over from the True Track line when we acquired them at about Oshkosh last year. So, KFC 230. Now, the KFC 230 is, as I said before, a touchscreen autopilot. Uh, probably the first touchscreen autopilot that's available today. Uh, we launched this initially as a KFC 150 replacement. KFC 200s are going to be coming up in the next short while, uh, very soon to come. The KFC 150, we did three different STC releases, so there's a lot of opportunity out there to get your aircraft or to upgrade your customer's aircraft with a fantastic autopilot. The great thing about this is it's a form fit replacement, so it basically allows you to use the same location, most of the same wiring, uh, you do have to change the tray and the connector, of course, to upgrade it to uh, you know, today's standards of wiring and connector technology. But it allows you to save all that work that you normally would have put into putting in new brackets, um, all that metal work for uh, installing servos and, and various other things. We've really alleviated a lot of that. Now, the great thing is we had these STCs, so we're able to leverage them to do this new AML, and that's one reason we were able to do this with a high-performance autopilot. Uh, we uh, completed our initial STC at about Oshkosh last year, got our AML done in the fall last year, and we've been building on that ever since, and we'll uh, have a little snippet of uh, that AML STC. And as, as I said previously, the KFC 200 AML STC, it's just right around the corner. Now that's going to be a really neat system. We'll probably have another video clip at that time and talk about that as far as how it works. Uh, but today we'll just concentrate mainly on the KFC 150. Now we project there's a lot of you owners out there and uh, a lot of dealers that maintain these aircraft. There's approximately 13,000 airframes out there today that uh, need an autopilot upgrade. These, the KFCs were fantastic autopilots, uh, but they've been in the aircraft 20 to 30 years. Now, when we talk about the 150 system, this is the same form factor as a KFC 150. That allows you that low installation time. And as always with our products, it's an open architecture system. So you're going to see in some future slides that what we do is actually make this uh, compatible with multiple manufacturers' attitude sources, um, with their Atahars, with their uh, navigators. You know, it's a, we're all about third-party integration when possible. But it will give you those upgraded features. Now, the, another great thing about the system is the cost. Uh, we tried to make this economical for our current customers with the entry cost of $99.95. That's for the base system. Uh, and we will warrant your existing servos for two years. So it's really a great deal. If we start to look at a little bit of the autopilot, it's actually two different pieces. It has the uh, autopilot computer, the KC230, KC as well as a KMC231. Now, that's really not important when you're doing a KFC150 because they're one unit. When we do the KFC200, now that becomes very interesting because we'll actually split the components apart so they'll mount respectively where the uh, 
units are today. Um, of course, this is an attitude-based system, as most high-performance autopilots need to be so they can handle the speed of the aircraft and keep it as stable as possible. Now, this accepts, of course, Airing 429 and analog inputs both. Uh, now, the attitude source, as I said before, needs to be a digital one and add a HARS because that way the level button will work properly. Uh, but we do allow integration of our analog products. There was a lot of our KF525A systems. Uh, they were called the KCS55A, as well as some of our legacy GPS nav receivers that we wanted to give compatibility to the system. And then, of course, we do utilize the existing servos. A couple of the modes you can get with this autopilot, we have uh, flight director, roll and pitch, heading, altitude, of course, nav, localizer, GPSS. As you can see on the screen, the readouts actually give bearing when hooked up to a digital source. So it's really a neat product with a lot of information. And of course, back course is one of those things it also has. Now, this is where I wanted to show you this slide. This is about our open architecture of our product. Um, as you can see, we of course have compatibility with our units, the KSG 7010 or 710, excuse me, uh, the KS, KSG 7200, but also we have G500, 600, as well as TXI compatibility. And we're constantly looking at opening up compatibility with other systems because we know our customers don't always have that. So as you can see, fully open architecture. Here's our approved model list for just the KFC 150. And I'm sure you're going to see one of your customer's aircraft or one of your aircraft on this list. Of course, configuration. This is a, a digital autopilot, so computer interface as far as setting it up. Very easy to use. And that's about it. So we're going to go on ahead and con uh, conclude this video. Since we don't want to take too much of your time, we will have more coming. Thanks, and stay safe and healthy.